everyone welcome back to my channel this is Tara with mayhem crafty cards so I was getting ready to start a card and I'm I just thought eh, let me just pop on YouTube and I'll film it for you guys um, the stamp set I'm using is from honeybee stamps and it's the birds and the bees um, I didn't use all the the piece all the stamps that were in the set I just chose the tree uh, tree limb the birds and the bees uh, the little bird nest um, the birds and the beehive. So uh, what I'm doing is just using some of the Zig Clean Color brush markers. Um, I really like these watercolor markers. Uh, they just make it easy for me since I am no watercolorist. Um, it's just really, really easy to use and for me, it, I need simple. <laughs> My hands shake a lot and it just, it's very easy for me to do. Um, so I'm just coloring the leaves and I'll, you know, just a couple different greens. So I wanted to see how everybody was coping with staying inside. I know Ohio, they just put in a shelter in place, which pretty much is a stay at home order. Um, I'm used to staying at home. However, I'm not used to my kids being home all the time. I mean, I enjoy it. They are, it's nice to have them home and be able to spend time with them. But they are bored to death. They do have schoolwork that they do, but you can only do so much schoolwork in a day before, you know, you just get tired out. So luckily my son's a gamer. So he, you know, he games. And he also games with my husband, which is nice because, you know, something they can do together. I am no gamer. I make cards and craft. So I, I do use a couple different greens for the leaves. Um, I know it looks brighter on the screen, but they're really not that neon in real life. For some reason, my phone likes to pick up super bright colors. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm just going to add a little details to the branch just because I didn't want it to be so plain. And I didn't draw those. I didn't bring those out or, you know, wash them down at all. So for the birds, I'm just taking this uh, light blue color. And I'm going to blend that out. And then for the little bird, I did do a darker blue just because I wanted to be just a little bit different. Um, so how is everybody coping? Like, that's the big question. Like, what are you doing? Are you crafting? Are you reading? Uh, yoga? What are you doing to stay busy? Are you still working? How are you keeping your kids occupied? That's the big question. It's, it's hard when you're not used to having them home all the time when they're, you know, a little bit older in age. I'm actually pretty impressed with myself for this video. I uh, figured out how to speed it up <laughs> and do a voiceover, which the voiceover I'm sure is a little jumpy here and there. So I'm going to go go ahead and color the beehive. And I only used one color for this and it was, it was super easy to do. Um, I just kind of went along the lines of the honey or the beehive and just kind of blended it all out. So I really like this set because it's really, it really reminds me of spring. And being in Ohio, Mother Nature has no idea what she's doing. Like one day, I think we had last week, it was 70, and the next day we had snow. So there's no telling what <laughs> the next day will bring. I wanted to say thank you to everybody who has watched and subscribed and shown some support to my little channel that was one of my goals in 2020 was to step out of my comfort zone and try something new and I, I've been making cards for a long time but I've never really posted them to YouTube or Instagram or anything like that so I do I do really appreciate all the support and once I hit a hundred subscribers which I know to some it's not that much but to me that's a pretty big accomplishment I'm going to do a giveaway. 
So once I hit that 100 subscribers, once I get close to 100 subscribers, I'm going to go ahead and post a video. And it, the rules will be super simple. I mean, it's nothing extraordinary. But I just wanted to kind of give back and say thank you for supporting me. Especially when this is something that's so new. So as I'm finishing up with the leaves, I did go ahead and um, cut that out using my brother's scan and cut. I did not have the matching dies to go along with this, which is fine. I mean, that's why I have the scan and cut. And uh, to the little birds, I, before I did that, I wanted to add a little bit of yellow just to their bellies, just to make them stand out just a little bit more. And it did pop pretty well. I mean, I have a little thing for birds. I, I loved hearing them in the springtime. But I, I really enjoy my scan and cut. I mean, I can, it, it saves me on die cuts, or, you know, on the dies. And it just, it's super easy. It's very loud, but it's pretty easy to use. I think it's more nerve wracking to do a voiceover than anything else. And I did speed up the video, so pretty proud of that there I'm just laying everything out after I dike after I cut it out with my scan and cut and kind of see where I want to place everything and this is a five and a half by four and a quarter uh, side folding card at the end and then, so I want to thank you guys for watching and I hope that you subscribe and hopefully you guys get a good hobby